my favorite ring is falling apart. Oh no, because I talk with my hands too much. Welcome back to Out There as we come to you from the movie premiere of Stonewall. Now this is a story of a young man's journey and his coming of age story during the 1969 pivotal movement of the Stonewall Riots. We caught up with the cast right here on the red carpet. Check it out. I'm going to get you all figured out. Go up in Kansas and Mama will probably bake apple pies. Yo everybody, this is Danny. Danny. Welcome to New York. Tell me about what you think about this and how important it is to tell this story. Well, you know, when I, you know, I knew of the Stonewall movement, but when I started doing my research, I was, I was quite ashamed of how little I really knew. Um, so I think if this movie can do anything to bring it more into the public consciousness as a whole, then uh, I think that's only a good thing. Don't use your real name. It was run by the mob. We're an organization that fights for gay rights. What attracts you to this and, and why is it so important to, uh, to history, really, to, to do this kind of movie? I mean, this was a passion project from the, from the very beginning by Roland Emmerich. You know, uh, he has an awful lot of himself invested in um, the point of view that um, leads us to this historic moment, which leads us to the moment we're in now, where all of a sudden the Supreme Court is ruling that same-sex same marriage is the law of the land. And, the armed forces is, is ruling that, you know, nobody has to justify their sexual orientation if they want to put the uniform on and, and fight for America. So um, this is big. And um, to be a, a, a guy, an ordinary guy who has an opportunity to participate in something that's way bigger than he is, is like one of the great fringe benefits of being in this business. All right, it's a raid up against the wall. This is what we're fighting. Why was this important for you to do? This was important for me to do because I think this is a dialogue that needs to be had. Where it, Not much has changed. Some things have changed, but this is still very relevant to today. We have 40% of homeless youth identify as GLBT. That is a very big number. It's an alarming number. And I think that ho I hope that this film brings um, attention to that, and I hope things are rectified for that. 